Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage the life cycle of Microsoft 365 groups by setting an expiration policy for them in Azure Active Directory. Keep in mind that we can set expiration policy only for Microsoft 365 groups in Azure Active Directory. Currently, only one expiration policy can be configured for all Microsoft 365 groups in an Azure Active Directory organization. There is also activity-based automatic renewal feature available in Azure Active Directory. With that feature, groups are now automatically renewed based on whether they have been recently used. This feature eliminates the need for manual action by group owners because it is based on user activity in groups across Microsoft 365 services like Outlook, SharePoint or Teams. For example, if an owner or a group member does something like upload a document to SharePoint, visit a Teams channel or send an email to the group in Outlook, the group is automatically renewed 35 days before the group expires and the owner does not get any renewal notifications. But in this video, we just want to cover the group expiration policy. So let's see how we can set up group expiration in Azure Active Directory. For that, we need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On dashboard, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Groups. Under Settings, click on Expiration to open the Expiration Settings. On the Expiration page, first set the group lifetime in days. You could select one of the preset values or custom value. Let me click on this drop down arrow to select the value. Here we can see we have two preset values, 180 days and 365 days. If you want to specify the custom value, then you need to select a custom option. Remember, the value should be 30 days or more. I'll set the value to 180 days in this video. So let me select 180 days as a group lifetime value. Next, specify an email address where the renewal and expiration notifications should be sent when a group has no owner assigned. Here, I'll specify the email address of our global administrator, which is mwadmin at msaptwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. This is the email address of our global administrator. Next, you need to select which Microsoft 365 groups expire. You can set expiration for all Microsoft 365 groups or only for selected Microsoft 365 groups. Default None option is used to restrict expiration for all groups in Azure Active Directory. Here, I'm going to choose Selected option. Click on Add button to specify the Microsoft 365 group on which you want to apply expiration settings. Let me click on this plus icon to add a Microsoft 365 group. From the list, select the group. In our case, we have a only one group, which is M365 Taste Group 1. Click on Select. Make sure that the group is listed. In our case, it is M365 Taste Group 1. When you enable expiration for selected groups, you can add up to 500 groups to the list. If you need to add more than 500 groups, you can enable expiration for all your groups. In that scenario, 
the 500 group limitation doesn't apply. Save your settings when you are done by selecting save. Wait for the confirmation message. We got the confirmation message that the save operation completed successfully. If groups are not automatically renewed, email notifications are sent to the Microsoft 365 group owners 30 days, 15 days and one day prior to expiration of the group. Any group that is not renewed is deleted automatically. Any Microsoft 365 group that is deleted can be restored within 30 days by the group owners or the administrator. So that concludes the video on how to configure the expiration policy for Microsoft 365 groups in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.